Hello from Taiwan. This is country number seven for me, and I am very grateful to be here. So let me get through immigration, and then we'll see where the day takes us. Okay guys, well that was a very easy immigration process. You just fill out the arrival card when you get in, and hand your passport over, and there was no line. So very simple, very quick, very easy. I have money, I need to find myself a SIM card and then I'm going to use the Airport Express Link or the MRT to get into Taipei City. So we're here, yes, country number seven. And also the first time I've been in East Asia. So I've been in Southeast Asia for the last six months and now I'm here in East Asia. So I'm excited. I think I can get a SIM card over here. There's one that I want that I looked up. I think. Chenghua Telecom is what I want. I think that's the one. Okay, very nice. I have unlimited data for seven days for $15. So very good. I will be here seven days. Very excited to explore this country. Now let me find the MRT. And I have about 2,000 uh, Taiwanese dollar on me. So should we take the MRT or should we take the airport rail? a good question. Both will get me to where I need to go, but I don't know which would be best. Okay, well, I guess we're taking the MRT. So I'm over this way. Going to uh, Taipei Main Station, which is, I'm staying right around there. So, yeah. Airport MRT. Okay, so here we go guys. First time Taiwan. Let's go. I think tonight, if there's a food court, if there's a food market around me, I'm gonna hit up a food market. That'll be sick. I'm very excited about this. Like I said, first time country seven, first time in East Asia. And I'll be back in Southeast Asia, don't worry. But yeah, very excited to, to be in this part here. Okay, I don't have a card or anything. I don't know how to get a ticket for this. Hopefully I can just get a ticket down here. Um, we'll see. All I know is I'm going to Taipei Main Station and then exit 4 but my Airbnb host told me exit 4 is down so I have to take exit 3. Okay. Metro easily. Let's see if I can pay for this. One well, we with ticket to main station and one how many tickets for you? Oh thank you very much. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay, so I just bought this token for 150 Taiwanese dollar, which gosh I don't know. I think that's like three or eight, three to five dollars or something. I need to I'm trying to figure out the exchange. They gave me this tea bag. <laughs> for buying which is cool uh, but yeah I don't know if it would have been cheaper here or I don't really know what I just bought so truthfully I really have no idea what I just bought I don't know if this is a single journey or what let's see okay we're going to Taipei main station A1 A1 here we go so you know what? I need to figure out if this is what platform this is. Oh gosh, I don't know what platform. Okay. I don't know what platform, but this is always so exciting. Okay, we'll take the stairs. And Taipei Main Station is on this side. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Taipei Main Station. Very cool. Okay. Now. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love the uh, public transportation over here in Asia. So I'm very excited to see the Taiwan train here. I've heard great things. So, I don't know what would be best. I don't know where would the best place to stand be. But we'll just stand here. First look at the uh, money here. It's actually, it's really beautiful. Beautiful money. I like to collect the money everywhere I go, but yeah. So, first look here. It's really nice.
Okay, so this train journey cost me $4.70. Really not bad. I will take that. I will definitely take that. Okay, so let's see here, guys. Let's go. Let's see if I can get a seat. That would be ideal, but I'll let this gentleman sit. Okay. Alright. Guys, here we are. So here's the look at it. Got my luggage down here. And let's go. Okay, type in main station. So Alright, well I'm not exactly sure how long that took, but let's take let's take a look at what time it is. Alright, 7.30. In town check-in. Okay, I don't know which way. I know I have to get to exit three. And let's just see where that might take us. Exit three. Okay. Exit three is this way. Okay, do I put the coin in here? Yeah. Okay. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right guys, we're in Taipei. Yes. Now, welcome to Taipei. Very cool, very cool. Very, very cool. Now, where is exit three? Welcome to Taipei. Oh, 16. Oh boy, this is confusing. Okay, there's exit one. Exit two. Okay. Exit four. And exit three. Okay. We need exit three because exit four is temporarily closed. Yes, guys. I've really only eaten lounge, like food in the uh, airport lounge today, but it's like almost eight o'clock. I normally don't eat that late, but we're gonna go get something. Uh, I have a good feeling about Taiwan, guys. It feels nice here. Yeah, I'll show you the room I have. Did an Airbnb. Seems like the best choice, just in terms of like money for comfort type deal. Do these doors open? Yeah, they do. Okay, okay. Now I do have about a 10 minute walk at least. At least. All right. So, got my map up here. And let's go. Ah, new country, new vibe, new energy, new people. Exciting, exciting, exciting. Yeah, so this will be uh, my biggest, the thing right now that I'm very interested in is seeing the difference between Southeast Asia and East Asia. I've said it a few times, but this is something that I think is going to be, for me, very interesting as an American, as I haven't been to this part of the world yet. So, yeah. So far, this has been a very efficient process. Like, getting through the airport was very easy. Getting on the MRT was very easy. Actually, very affordable as well, the whole thing, including the SIM card. So, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I have to say, guys, it's a little quiet, a little empty here. I'm staying near Taipei Station, because main station, because I read that that's like the place to stay for your first time in Taipei. Um, I guess it's like obviously pretty central to get to everywhere, so. Okay, observation. People do not jaywalk here. So you wait. You wait until you get the walk sign. Law-abiding uh, society here. <laughs> okay, folks, well, it was uh, quite confusing to get here, but we got here, so that's all that matters. So this is the space I am spending $61 a night. It's really the best price I could find for what I really like, which is a workspace, Wi-Fi, a bed that, oh, feels very hard, couch. Um, got two keys here, which will be nice, but I do need a workspace. 
and we have your little kitchen okay very nice and let's see what else we have here okay and what I really liked about this place is it comes with a washer so that will come in very handy now these are not my favorite showers <laughs> it's basically a wet bath so basically the whole room gets wet including the toilet but hey it is what it is so yes hello uh so yeah here we are and wow people have been very respectful and kind so far from the moment i stepped on into the airport uh, a guard helped me find <laughs> my way around here looks like they got the tv on here for me but i am a bit far it seems i don't know i have to check in the morning because it's a little dark i've been traveling all day but I was hoping that I'd find like a central location near um, the MRT and stuff, but I do think I'm gonna have to probably end up walking 10 plus minutes to get to the MRT, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, we'll just do more walking here in Taiwan when I'm here. So, yes, and look at this. <laughs> Isn't this an interesting painting? I do hope that this closes as well. Oh, looks like they have some tape here. Perfect, perfect, okay. This will, this will do guys, this will do. I'm a light sleeper, so I like to have complete darkness when I sleep. Okay. Anyway, here we are. What do you say? We go explore a little bit here. I think it's like close to eight. Should be safe. I've read Taiwan is a pretty safe place, so let's go explore. Okay guys, all good. So it looks like I'm seven minutes away from the Zymin or Shimin uh, MRT. And there's a night market up here that is nine minutes away. Let me get across the street. So let's, uh, I think it's Shimen. It's X-I-M-E-N. I don't know if it's Simon or Shimen, but I'm actually, I think I'm in a really nice area here. I gotta be real. I think I'm in a really nice area. And I think I'm gonna really enjoy my time here. This feels amazing, I have to tell you. This feels completely different than where I've been before. Completely different vibe. You know what? We're gonna go this way. I wanna go this way. I wanna walk this way. We're gonna walk this way. It'll take us to the same place. Now I know Nihao and Shishi. That's what I know. Nihao and Shishi. And that is the extent of my Mandarin. So, yes. Only so much I can learn, but sadly I wish I could learn more. But um, that's what I have. Oh man. I'm gonna geek out so hard. There's an anime cafe close. And it's my favorite anime, Hunter Hunter, of all time. I'm gonna lose some subscribers here if I keep talking about anime, but I love it. <laughs> that might give you a clue into where I'm going after Taiwan, by the way. Some of you already know, just based on me saying that. So this is uh, feeling really good, I gotta tell you. It's completely different than Southeast Asia already. Less people right now. Maybe it's just where I am. Maybe I'll see more when I'm going over here to the night market or tomorrow, I don't know. It is a Tuesday at like eight, so. People are probably working tomorrow. Okay, already there's like a, it seems like there's a really cool stretch of uh, shops right over here that I wanna walk in. I don't think this is the night market, maybe it is. But actually, this whole street looks really cool right now. But your man is pretty hungry. Surviving on air airport lounge food, you know? Oh, I mean, look at this. Okay, well, we have to walk down here. Okay, good. This is where the map's taking us anyway. Look at this, guys. I don't know. This is so cool. Okay, something going on over here, guys. Maybe there's like live music or something. Oh, I don't know what this, what's going on here. Oh. Oh, 
Okay. Street performer. Okay, where do we go from here? Wow. So many things to try to see and try and do, guys. Wow. Oh, I mean, look, there's narrow streets with shops, lines here, neon signs. Oh man, it looks so cool. I'm gonna freaking love it here. I love the stringed up, uh, the strung up lights. I think is the way, the right, whatever English. Uh, yeah, just the way this whole area is decorated is really cool. We've got a unique low. I need to replace a bunch of my shirts because they have holes in them, long story. Now this is how I like the first day to go when I visit a new country. I'm in a good location, I'm in a good spot, and this is exciting. Oh, stinky tofu. I will try that one day. Not today, guys. Not today. I can smell from here. But I know that's a thing you have to do. Okay. Oh, very popular uh, restaurant here. Oh, guys, I'm just realizing I hope this night market is food night market and not a uh, item night market. I did not check beforehand. I just typed in night market. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay, Shimin Station. If not, then I'll just get food somewhere, anywhere. Oh, we've got more street performers over here. It's like this time dancers. Wow, they're pros, guys. They are pros. You know what? I think I just walked through the night market. So, what this means is right there, plan B. Plan B is I find a really good restaurant and I can get some food. I thought we were gonna get some street food, but uh, that is not the type of night market this is. So, plan B, plan B, plan B. What is this? Mammy pancake? No, 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 no. I need a... Uh, I need something other than a pancake. Like, uh... Not stinky tofu, not a pancake. Something. Something salty. No sweet for me right now. <laughs> Wow, can you try it? Can you imagine meditating with that horn going on? Meditating while that horn's freaking going crazy. That's that's impressive. That is impressive. Oh, there's a Gengar and a Snorlax. Look, a Gengar and a Snorlax. Oh man, what is this? Is this a uh, Pika? Oh man, I think I've seen these. Oh guys, look at this. Oh, I'm gonna come back and play this. Pinko, I think. Oh, I don't know what this is. We're gonna come back and play this. I think I just did a big loop, to be honest with you. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I just did a big loop. Okay, well, it's gotten even busier here, and I'm still hunting for a restaurant because I thought in my head this would be like street food stalls, but it's a different type of night market. That is okay. Ah, yes. Okay, so sitting uh, at a shared table here and what you do is you just select one of these then you go up there and pay. So, all right, for those curious, it was uh, 270 Taiwanese dollar, which is about $8.50, $8.50. I got two items, so yeah, pretty affordable for a sit-down restaurant, I would say. Hey guys, here it is. So, teriyaki chicken. Uh, what is this? I'm really not sure what this is. It's warm. Got sticky rice. Maybe a soup. And I also have fried chicken coming in as well, uh, like a fried, like chicken wings. Because the guy is hungry, so 
Give this uh, teriyaki chicken a shot here. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm, good flavor. It's almost like a uh, Panese chicken rice. I'm sure some of you will be curious to know what this is, so let me open this up. I have no idea what this is. It's sort of like pudding. I'll try the rice first. The rice is like... This is like a custard, I think. Oh. Yeah. Like an egg custard or something. I thought it was sweet. It's not sweet. It's eggs. It's like eggs. Tastes exactly like eggs. Interesting. Well, I'm gonna chow down. Okay, well that was a good meal. It's 9.04. And I'm not done yet. Let's go see what else I can get into. Oh, we've got a cinema here. Cool. I'm behind on all of the MCU movies, all of the new MCU movies. Oh, look at this beer bar. Should we go? Should we have a beer bar here? Let me see what's down here. Maybe we'll, we'll go to a beer bar. Oh, I know. One of the things you have to do is 7-Eleven in uh, Taiwan. It's apparently incredible. Yeah, let's go, let's see what a local beer is like. See if we can find a local beer over here. Let's see we had an arcade. Okay. Let's see what kind of beer we can get here. Music in there, so I've decided to sit out here and people watch. Uh, the cinema, but it's a really cool vibe in there. And I got myself a Taiwan beer. That's what it's called, Taiwan beer. The minimum spend is 300, which means I have to get two. Oh well. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, cheers, Taiwan beer. Ah. Oh, it's quite good. So the minimum spend is 300, which is like nine dollars something, something like that. So. Uh, actually almost 10 so it puts about each beer at $5 so I think this is like a higher class bar maybe I don't know but maybe it's just that beer is more expensive in Taiwan I don't know but I will likely continue this vlog in the morning so I will see you then well folks it is <laughs> absolutely pouring down rain open this up here give you a look at it oh. So, how do I continue this first day in Taipei video? I don't know. Got to figure it out, guys. Also, unfortunately, so the Airbnb host is amazing. He's a really good host. You know, it's always good when you get one of those. Unfortunately, this room has a terrible chemical smell to it that kept me up all night. It's like literally, I think, the worst I've had. So, that's a thing. <laughs> but you know what? $61 a night, you can't really find it cheaper in Taipei for this, for what you get. So, I'll probably just make do. <laughs> but yeah, first day in Taipei, let's figure out where I go from here. Alright guys, well the rain has subsided here, so I'm going to take a long walk. There are a couple things I want to see here on my first day in Taiwan and Taipei. So, yeah, now I do want to go to this anime cafe, I may or may not take you in there, but some of you know I'm a pretty big anime nerd and my favorite anime is on display in there and it's just right next to where I'm staying so if you're curious that would be Hunter x Hunter so I know I lost some of you with the anime talk but I do think I have some anime fans here watching me. In researching the population here in Taiwan I found something very interesting which is I just assumed that Taipei was the most populated city in Taiwan and that is not the case there's actually New Taipei, which is the most populated city in Taiwan. And I'm in Taipei, which has a population of 2.3 million people, as opposed to New Taipei, which has a much, much larger population. Taiwan as a country has a population of 23 million, almost 24. And so yeah, 
So currently as I'm recording this video, there's a typhoon that is hitting Japan. So I do believe that we are getting some of the drift, runoff, whatever you want to call it, effects of the typhoon here. Now Taiwan has a majority Buddhist and Taoist uh, religious makeup. So the majority of people here are either Buddhist or Taoist. I've been to many Buddhist countries, but never a Taoist country, so yes. All right, the plan is to walk through this park here to my next destination, as this seems to be a good way to get to where I'm going. So this is called 228 Peace Park, which I think is a great name. And I do not know what the cultural significance of this is, but it is peaceful for sure. Oh, feels good. Wow. All right, guys. Well, this is what I've been walking for the last 25 plus minutes for. Chiang Kai Shek Monument. I believe is how you pronounce it. Chiang Kai Shek monument look at it oh my gosh it looks beautiful it's a bit overcast so i don't know how it looks on the camera but you can see people getting selfies here very beautiful and maybe there's a post or something where i can read up on the significance of this oh it's the national monument okay or maybe that's chiang kai-shek it's in the same area here Okay, it's the uh, National Monument Taiwan Democracy Memorial Park. Yes, okay, whoops, just stepped in water, that's okay. So I'm here, this is the National Monument, over there is the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall. Okay, I'm gonna read this and then I'm gonna keep walking. So I read this spot currently is a popular place for recreation, public events, and exercise. So I gotta say, this is just stunning, absolutely stunning. Uh, snapped a bunch of photos. I would like to ask you to take a moment to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Less than 8% of you are subscribed to my channel, so it'd really mean a lot to me. I also have an Instagram where I post photos, but yes, please do subscribe. So yeah, this whole thing is just absolutely stunning. And I guess like public events happen right here. Here's the hall. Chiang Kai-shek Hall over here and uh, yeah it's flanked by two other buildings so really a fascinating place and it feels nice to walk around here but I don't know looks like we have a sun in the middle it looks really cool so yeah, I'm looking forward to walking up this and seeing inside. Here's a shot of the aerial view when you get to the top here. Oh, very, very much worth it. I didn't notice this, but the garden here is really manicured in a cool way. Yeah, cool. So, I think I can take photos? I think I can film here? We'll see. Yeah. Those are people. We have uh, people guarding the monuments. I think people are guarding the monuments here. just a spectacular thing to witness. I have to just tell you, this is just an absolutely spectacular, amazing, name the adjective, build, set of buildings and just whole area here. You can see it wraps around and we have another sort of like entrance. Oh man. Yeah, you can just see, my gosh. Beautiful.